Studios. It's Bob and John's Super Duper Variety Power Hour with your host, Bob Katie. And uh, John Piccarillo. Time has slowed as I walk this dust road. Yesterday's gone and tomorrow's too far away. Sometimes I think, what the hell am I doing here? Welcome to... Bob and John's Super Duper Variety Power Hour. It's Thursday. Thursday Welcome Thursday. aboard, folks. Yee-ha! Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. That it is. Well, that's what you're going to be hearing it anyway. Yeah. You, great. You try to put the... <laughs> never oh, mind great. the guy. Never mind the... Real gu- bullets! <laughs> never mind the guy behind the, fu- the, behind <laughs> the curtain. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, never mind him. John just opened right. it up, and showed you everything. Right. In one yeah. second, I don't want to get stuck a in a thir- mode of um, like thinking. Am I got? Am I lying? Am I? Are you lying? You're just saying. Hold it's on a second here. Wait. Why do you want that beer so bad? Because he's thirsty, dummy. <laughs> <sighs> it's nice. not lying because when they hear it, it's Thursday. That's what I said. Well, we stopped doing the date because that got way too confusing for us. I know. So we just went with, let's just say Thursday. I'm that, getting that better good. at it, though, because really, you know, I go from my last one and I add seven days. And that's what that's you know, what I put down there. Okay. It's more of a diary now than it is of anything. John's diary. That's right. I have lots of them. You got things blowing up there. Aren't you curious what's going on? <laughs> I see what it is, that's all. <laughs> Don't you worry about that shit. I think it's got something to do with the fact that I'm flying. I have nipples, Greg. <laughs> Could you milk me? <laughs> You're flying? Yeah. That's out of the bag by now. Yeah. So, you know. It's, it's, out, of the, it's out of the bag when we're doing this podcast. It's, it's Much less putting it out on the Dream uh, come true. John flew. I flew. He flew. And we have it on tape. Yeah, that's how awesome. people saw it. That's how you know. That's how they see it. You're flying. It's good. Wow. If he's here, who's running hell? Who's running hell. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yes, John was flying to podcast forty two. This that's is right. episode forty. That's right. Three. I want. I want to uh, try. You know, I I threw in the thrusters there. We gotta move. The, we gotta. We gotta move fast. That's what I gotta work on. That power mode. He always wants more, folks. Yeah. He always wants more. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I'll start getting more sophisticated when you start getting us more listeners and viewers. All right, we'll see. Uh-huh. What, we'll see how that last one goes. Uh-huh. So My uncle says you got a screw loose. Oh, yeah. Your uncle molests collies. Collies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 Houston. Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> Makes me laugh. I refuse to look up any more reference because you talk mean to me. Say you're sorry. <sighs> That's right. Uh, I guess we got All right, you primitive screwheads, listen up. You can find us at Bob and John's podcast at gmail.com or at Loose and Buttery on the Twitter and Instagram or Periscope or on our Facebook page and our YouTube channel at Bob and John's Super Duper Variety Power Hour. I showed these. What the hell are you doing? I showed these. Uh, on the intro, so for any viewers, you can- so, so whoever's listening to this, this doesn't mean shit, right? But you can check this out. I'm showing the camera right now. I'm super excited that my Havanas, my call that, that's what I say. I have some people at work that would, cigars, would say Havianas. Havianas? Havianas. You're not saying it right. It's not Havanas. It's Havianas. For everybody who's listening, they're freaking flip-flops. That's right. They're flip-flops. Throw me a freaking bone here. Well, I've had Havanas in, for, for many, many, many. I wear a lot of flip-flops, and I'll buy some cheapos, Flippity but they blow out quick. As a matter of fact, I throw the good one aside always because I know eventually I'm going to have maybe not se- necessarily a color match, but a match 
then he really right. then yeah. he really looks like a homeless bum. I do look homeless on. until my Havanas <laughs> come in, and that's and they came in. So anyway, you I are, haven't been saving my it. Havanas is what I've realized, which is a huge problem. I don't, I can't Why? believe I don't save the unbroken Havana. Why? So I can match them up the same way I do with the cheapos. Yeah. Why? Because they're good flip flops that I can eventually have an unbroken left and an unbroken right. The only thing is I change the style so they are, I don't know, I, I've changed the style every time I've got them so I wouldn't have a matching one. It's, so it's not like You're that. not going to have a matching one to begin with, so who cares? Right. I guess you better have unmatching Javianas than, than unmatching Old Navy. You little sissy boy! Because the Old Navies, <laughs> they're like pretty thick and stuff and they're like two bucks and you put them on and, you, and within a <laughs> pop a week, within a week within a week yeah. it's like formed to your foot which is pretty cool and i can get them last a little longer than i used to but it doesn't take long with some i go up and down hill at summer a lot because from the camp, camp to, to the, the road water. to the water it's a hill and with flip-flops throw in a little bit of moisture and foot slipping and facing downhill, I've, it's just uh, a matter of time you blow them out. It's going to yeah, happen. I've biffed on that hill. Oh, sure. Sure. I love flip-flops, and I and it's a danger that I deal with. And do I blow them out? Yes. But you know what? I'd rather have them blow out there, and I now it's done. See, I want my sturdy flip-flops. And here's the thing. I'm, this is a Havana's plug, by the way. I've had one pair that was fantastic, my all-time favorites, and Sweet Sweet Charlie, the chocolate brown, we went for a walk one night, Dog and I was walking, is. and he put his big-ass 100-pound paw on the back of the flip-flop, and I kept walking, and I walked Ugh. right out of him. So that was the first Havana's I, I busted out of. But they were size 13, just like the ones I have on today. And I haven't had a pair of 13 Havana's in many, many years. So I'm very excited about Havana's. He's excited, folks. It took them Woo! a little while to get here. But it only cost me a dollar. So I'm you motorboat and son of a bitch, you old sailor, you. So I only had to walk around for one week with unmatching old navies. So for a week, I probably looked homeless. <laughs> Wait a minute. I am. <laughs> <laughs> suck a fart out of her ass and hold it like a <laughs> Been listening. I was listening to today, that one today. Oh, that Because he squeezes it in there really quick like this. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty magical. <laughs> it's pretty magical. <laughs> so there uh, you go. Go Havana's. What's the update? Or, yes, uh, they, Farrell, on the whole, I think Preparation H feels good. Oh, every day gets better and better. Yeah? Oh, yeah. You're headed in the right, we, I'm we, headed in the right direction. Okay, so we've gone We've gone to the lowest depths, oh, and now been, we're back. We've been to we're the headed depths back up. of hell. Hopefully. Excuse me. I'd like to ask, ask you a you few questions. questions. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, we're headed in the right direction there. All right. I haven't been for my follow-up to my annual blood draw yet though so i don't know did you show did you show, did you show in the last two podcasts that you were all hooked up no i don't think so i was trying to hide it thanks for letting the cat out of the bag <laughs> why <Asshole>. not <laughs> we were a minute in and you were already showing behind the curtain yeah now it's not like i uh, i'm that concerned about it i'm just excited that that's going to be done in t- less Te- than two days technically it's done today the day where we're supposedly doing the podcast on thursday right technically i'm done with this yeah Echo, cardio, cardio, graphigo. <laughs> He's all hooked up like a robot. It was my own damn fault. I said, look, because it was my annual visit to my cardiologist. And he says, anything unusual? I says, well, it's strange. Sometimes I lay in bed at night, especially the nights I haven't been drinking. The w- <laughs> that's, a, that's a joke. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> the real thing was the one that I was laying... <laughs> The real thing was, was sometimes I'm laying in bed and I can't sleep. Now that had happened after the golf tournament and all that's that. That's the yeah. problem. That you didn't problem. you didn't give enough time after the golf yeah. tournament. You finally hit that point where you're like, I can't do this crap well, anymore I, and bounce back. I hit the pillow. I was out, but then I woke up somewhere around five, three. I think it was three in the morning, and I was having some trouble getting back to sleep. And my heart felt like it was kind of pounding. So I thought that it was important to share with my cardiologist. Then. You know, so 
he now then he set me up with this rig you, like this thing you want to see it it's like the, there it is i've been walking around with three weeks like this i look like i should be in a hospital bed and then this stupid ass thing goes out dead every three days. I got to change the batteries and I got to carry this thing. Oh, so yeah. it's like carrying around two phones wherever I go. And then get this. I you, thought about Batman. this before I left you're for Batman. the lake on, on Friday night when they rigged me up Thursday. Friday, they've got a 1-800 number right on here. So I call it. Can I help you? Yeah, I got a problem. I'm going up into the Adirondacks. I know my cell phone doesn't work, so I don't know what this thing that you gave me is that looks like a cell phone, but I can tell you right now it's probably not going to be working where I am for the weekend. Oh, okay. I'll make a note of it. So they put a note in there. I'm like, Thank you very much for the call. Bloop, bloop. Sunday, the very first thing I do, I get, <laughs> or Monday, I'm sorry, it's Monday. <laughs> when I get back to my desk, there's a message from the same people, and the message says, Please call us. We're we're afraid for you. You know what I mean. Your your, 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 your device isn't working. So Are I you dead? Basically. <laughs> so I call them up, and they're they're like, "What? Why did you take the device off?" And I'm like, "Look, I told the woman Friday night I was going up north. There's no cell service, and I have important things to do that involve water." It's called scuba diving, and I don't think this thing is going to survive being underwater. You're right. The lady that I asked said, don't take it underwater. So she said, take it off when you're in the water. So I happened to be in the water for a couple hours. That happens. You know what I mean? It so, was a very long bath. Yeah. Well, anyway, she, <laughs> anyway, when they got, they were all worried, like, how come it's not, you know, it's not hooked up? And I'm like, I already explained all this. It's the way it's going to happen. I'm a very busy person, and... <laughs> And not having these all over me on, you know, like, can you imagine? Can you even imagine if I went uh, to, to the, to the you know, the, the shipwrecked and I left them all stuck on? Do you know how many people? Wow. Like, He's like, here. Who's running hell? You should be in a hospital. You shouldn't be at a party. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. So, so that was, so Thursday. Whenever they hooked them up, that's the time I'm taking them off. And that's all the readings you're going to get from me, folks. I can't wait to ask my doctor what Monday night does. I have nipples, Greg. Could you milk me? Monday night, we, we're a pro solid two hours of... I'm sweating, so I'm assuming my heart is also racing. Right now? No. When we're jamming and I'm playing I drums. I hope so, yeah. I think Considering so. that this it's, week. It's pretty cardiovascular, actually. Considering this week, it's been hot as balls. Oh, man. I got a towel back there just to He's dry off. Vet towel. That's right. I got a question for you. Excuse me. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Yeah. Is that crooked? When I've been editing the videos, yeah. I've been thinking it's crooked. It's tilting. I don't know. Let's to get your some side. feedback. I from this angle, I can't make a, I can't make a decision. In the videos, it looks like it's. Tilted. Does the crinkle show up? Yeah, that's the part that pisses me off the most. We got to really, we we got to really work on that. Well, maybe with the new stand, we'd be able to work some magic. I Let's think we just got to fucking make that work somehow. <laughs> Well, maybe tonight. I'm in one of those moods. Oh, he's in one of those moods. That's right. The Packers on a TiVo mission for the YOU. YOU, baby. For the With y the Packer. O <laughs> <laughs> you little sissy boy. <laughs> the Packers on TiVo mission for YOU. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I will say this. I'm going to be very happy Friday. I'm going to get my car, my new car. You have been excited about it. Well, everybody gets excited about a new car. That's true. New to me, anyway. It's a little used. It's a couple of years, a year old or so. A year old. I think that's a way to buy a car. Yeah, it's not brand, brand new, but it might as well be. It's you know, very slightly used, but uh, brand new to me. Very excited gonna, about it. You're not going to give the maker a shout out? A uh, 2014 Ford Escape. Hey, American made. Yeah, I went back. I went back Remember to when the American we, made. they used to talk about that seriously on the yeah. about. Yeah, I I went back to the old uh, uh, you know American made Ford. Yep, I had my van. 
America after, tough. Yeah. After high school, I had uh, I had my 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 Ford van that lasted me over 150 mi- thousand miles. So the I was Astra. very happy. Yeah. Hey, I got a lot of usage out of that. We thing. use that thing. That went to Buffalo and back uh, many, many times. Many times. Many that, uh, times. A lot of equipment being moved in that. Yeah. That was yeah. my that was my machine when I was gigging at, when I was yeah. gigging in the 90s. So that was uh, that had a lot of equipment going in there. We got to get it. Got to get a trailer. You and this damn trailer. Enough of you with this trailer. My uncle says you got a screw loose. Oh, yeah. Your uncle molests collies. Yeah, yep. there we go. Mm-hmm. You nasty mother puss bucket. All right, you primitive screwheads, listen up. You can find us at Bob and John's Podcast at gmail.com or at Loose and Buttery on a Twitter. A whole bunch of stuff went up today. Mm-hmm. And Instagram, which some stuff went up today too. And Periscope, which we didn't hit yet. Or you can find us on our Facebook page and our YouTube channel at Bob and John's Super Duper Variety Power Hour. <laughs> yeah, you never even told me about the, uh, you got a, got a nibble during practice last night. I, I, I responded to the nibble and didn't get anything back, so okay. we'll find Just out. Just curious. We'll, we'll find that out, lead singer. Band business lead singerism that is. Yeah, yeah. I forgot. I hadn't I had to bring it up. <laughs> I see that you did. Well, how could you do that? <laughs> should, uh, I, you know what? We should probably be nice. We'll give uh, uh, our our friend from high school, Julie Potter, won uh, yeah. five years now in a row Sar- up in Saratoga the hat competition. Oh yeah. She, I didn't uh, know that. She took it five. This was her fifth year. She was on Sports Center. No shit. Saturday morning, she was on Sports Center from the, live from the Saratoga, from the track. I didn't even know that was part of what she did. I mean, I know she's the area's kind of yeah master. I, uh, I didn't realize that either. Yeah, but not uh, master class hairdresser. I didn't know that. But the hats, if it, it, it yeah. was incorporated, but now it seems to be all making sense. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. 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 We'll give her a little shout out. That's a, you know. Yeah, definitely. A good. A, oh. A, oh, oh, boy. Why do you want that beer so bad? Because he's thirsty, dummy. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to yeah. Julie Potter. Yeah. And I'll do uh, another quick one. The uh, daughter number two just started her new job on Monday uh, yes. in San Francisco I for Sephora. Her. Saw so, uh, Facebook and Instagram, I think. Yeah. Did and you get any feedback on how it went? She's. I think she's gonna love it because okay. she. Good. She really doesn't have a, a direct boss, so she kind of just has all this freedom to create. It's like really what she always. I mean, it's like more than she expected. I think in that area, it's like huh. she doesn't have that boss literally breathing over her type of thing. She's kind of on her own to run her own people to create. Yeah. So, and it has something to do with hair also in the Sephora brand and stuff. Hmm. So, it's, uh, I think she's going to, I, I, obviously this week she's a little bit overwhelmed because they're, you know, it's like brand new and they're just. Right. A lot of information her way and everything, but they gave her like this huge gift basket and everything and they found out all the shit she liked and she was all happy she probably got like she probably got a couple grand in free stuff if that you know and if not more i mean it looked the 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 picture she sent me looked ridiculous you know and you know i'm i'm aware of pricing since i the the two girls have both now wor- worked worked and work for sephora sephora's big name yeah so um congrats to rebecca yep She's Congratulations. Brilliant. She's freaking out because she has no place to live, but she's working on it. She's working on finding an apartment. A l- another homeless individual. Yeah, you guys are the two homeless individuals, except at least you aren't in a strange city no. homeless. So you have places to go. You have no. places to go. I'm uh, not a. W- there's got to be a label for the. Um, I'm not a um, well, endangered homeless person. <laughs> Endangered. 
here at home. Well, I think somebody that's got nowhere to go, you know, the one you see on the st- street. Oh. It's in danger. <laughs> okay. You know, it's dangerous, especially when the winter comes. You know, there's people that live out in the elements all winter. You know, I saw a video that really kind of I wanted to share it and I didn't. So maybe this is the best place to share it because it was I didn't want to share it on Facebook. But there was a little clip about it was a, a man mm-hmm. and a little girl and she's laying down and she's laying, got his got her head in his lap and he's got a sign. And it said, oh, man, I can't I'm not going to be able to get it perfect. I don't have it right. So excuse me if it's not just right. But the gist of it was one of them was. Um, homeless, I need money for, I don't know, something unusual, you know what I mean? Eat, I, ticket somewhere, something? I have some, maybe food. I, I don't know. Okay. No, yeah. but, but, no, because that's the gist of the other one. The other, okay. the other one was, oh, no, no, that's it. Okay, it's all coming back oh. to me now. <laughs> Woo! One of the signs was, I'm a, a father. No, it wasn't that. I'm homeless, and I need to help my family. I need money. Mm-hmm. That's what one of the signs was. And they videotaped people walking by, and he got nothing. Nothing. Zilch. Same outfits, same place, same everything. He, they changed the sign and said, I'm a homeless father. I need money for drugs and alcohol. And people stopped and put money in the cup. <laughs> a bunch of people stopped and put money in the cup. When the truth, you know, or what would be that's, truth for other people. That's yeah, messed up. Totally messed up. That's messed yeah, up. Yeah, it's a totally messed up thing. That is. And it, I was. It, wow. Yeah. He's here. Who's running hell? And, I could, <laughs> and it was so fascinating. I wanted to share it on Facebook, but at the same time, it was like. That's I guess up. I didn't do enough research. Yeah, I, you know, I really yeah, yeah, need to yeah, research. No, that, that's sure. like crazy messed up. Right. Yeah, but if it's accurate, it is wicked messed up. Yeah, yeah. You know what kills me uh, about on Facebook? Uh, you know, I don't mind. People are very animal friendly. And I don't mind that at all. You know what I mean? When people yep. put up like, "Oh, I'm." I'm fostering this dog or whatever, mm. you know, that type of thing. I, that that is perfectly fine. Sure. I just I, I'm really not into the this animal was abused, showing the picture and showing the picture of the animal. And it's like, well, you know what? I feel like just saying I don't abuse animals. So I don't you know, ah, I don't want to see it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I saw one of those today. Uh, you know, it kills sick me. It mother kills me. Put a. Uh, fireworks into a dog's uh, mouth. Man, the cat. There, it, I'm not a cat person. You know that. Not that I want a cat to be hurt in any way. Just no cats around me is a good thing. I'm I'm happy with that. Like, you know what I mean? I like cats. The cat there that got something Schenectady that somebody shot its eye out or something. Yeah. It was something like that. It's like really. I mean. Do you have any better things to do with your life than to torture animals, you dumbass? You know that's that's what your that's all there is to it. (sighs) It's just stupid. It's just stupid. You really don't have enough uh, things to do. Yeah, that's yeah. That's what it comes down to. Yeah, like I I feel like then we need to find some real menial, shitty job to take you and have you do for free. Yeah. So you won't hurt animals. So yeah. that'll take up your time from sure. doing that's hurting. Very, that's a very good innocent solution. animals. There's there are roadways and walkways and bike paths all over that when I'm on, I was like, somebody needs to pick this up. Oh, okay. I thought you were going to say repair them. I'm like, no, that's that, that's a decent paying job. No, that I, I, I do something even worse than that. I mean, just picking up garbage is a, is a, a benefit to everybody. You know, I mean, I think the people that put the garbage there in the first place was jerky. Yeah, but uh, pretty much, you know, you know, it's like really, you can't find a receptacle. To put Every it in. once in a blue moon, though, you have a trash can disaster, and you didn't mean to. You know, yeah. what I, I'll tell you what: we lived at the bottom of the street, and it seemed like all the shit blew down to the our house. And after Christmas, uh-huh. like maybe you didn't notice it. In the winter, because there was so much oh, snow. Oh, the snow But melts. the friggin' popcorn 
packing peanuts. Oh, I hate those things. There always ended up being tons of them. And I yeah. always felt bad for my dad. He's stuck with them. And they're probably the hardest thing to get rid of. I hate those things. <laughs> the worst packing. Yeah, that's not a good idea. At, 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 ever. At work now, they have these things, and I think it's a lot better. They're like plastic bags with air in them. Yeah, yeah. I, I think, that, I those think, a lot. I think that's a. They're easy. So you just take a yeah. pop them it's and then much, put them in the garbage. Much better solution, yeah. I think. The yeah. Packing peanuts days are over, I hope. Hope. <laughs> and now, welcome to the news with Bob and John. Is there a rattlesnake in here? We're going to do a little news for you. Uh, you know what? I'll go first since you went first, I think, the last two times. And you've got something just itching to get out. A little bit surprised and happy, but yet a little bit like the response from... I'll get into it. Okay. Um, what is it? You just tell us. The uh, One of my pet peeves is... Uh, uh, you know, if you cheat, you get nailed, admit it, move on. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Take your punishment. Mm -hmm. And that's what I've been saying about this Tom Brady deflate gate bullshit. You know what I mean? Take your punishment, move the hell on. You know what? Everybody's like, well, this quarterback said they did it. That other quarterback said they did it. These teams did this. You know what? Here's the difference, folks. They didn't get caught. He got caught. You got caught. Say, all right, take Take your punishment and move on. The NFL commissioner came back today and upheld the four-game suspension, saying he's going to have to do those four games. Now, what I'm hearing is is that Brady is going to go to like a Supreme Court and try to get an injunction so he can play in the start the season while this while this whole thing gets stretched out until the court comes back so that could be months on if he's suspended or not you know and I, it's just like no you know the, the right, right before we Doesn't right before the we NFL the, have enough money to uh, right before well right before the podcast move it along right before the podcast uh because this all came down today i saw that the nfl had actually taken a first step uh, the, the first step before brady they are saying Brady was going to do that. They didn't say he had done it because they just came, the stuff came down today. The NFL has, as far as uh, what I read, has already gone to a judge to ask that he upheld, uh, uphold their ruling. So he's they're already getting out in front of it. Like we're gonna go right. You want to do that? We're gonna go right to the. We're gonna go right and get it so it's upheld. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna make it real tough for you, yep. not not to do it. And silly. The the thing that the uh, the NFL pulled out their little uh, their 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 thing is, I, the, the, almost right now is it's not like the four games is for the actual cheating, but they want they asked for Brady to surrender his phone so they for the investigation, and he smashed it. I heard that. That's what I heard when I turned around to. Crane's hollow. Yeah, he smashed it, so they couldn't see any of the incriminating text, and, apparently. And that and, seems incriminating to me. Well, he says he does it every three months for security purposes. Oh, uh, Yeah, I smash my phone every three months. Except that the phone that before this one that he smashed, he didn't smash. Oh. So, basically, you're caught in a lie. Now, now not only have you cheated... You're looking guilty. You're looking guilty and got caught in a lie. Just... Just, dude, take the take the games. You know what I mean? Take the games and, and be done with it, you know? What are you going to do? You, you're going to take this to God next? What? You know? I mean, Jesus. You can give it a try. Yeah. Just, I don't know if he's going to listen. Take the freaking games, you know? Take them. You fin Golden Boy finally got caught doing something, you know? The Patriots also got caught years ago. For cheating, videotaping, videotaping other teams' practices, you know you're going to cheat. The Patriots are really good at football and winning Super Bowls, but they don't seem to be able to get this whole cheating thing down. 
So maybe they need to go talk to the Raiders. Because yeah, they, the, they, with the Raiders' motto of the 70s is if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. They, they, they did it good. <laughs> That's right. So the uh, the whole thing of like now he's going to take it out. To, like, I, like I always thought the commissioner of your sport, that was pretty much it. He said it. That came down. That's the law. You know what I mean? That's the law of the land. You know what I mean? Now it's like, oh, we can go around and go to like, you know, basically the real courts and everything to try to supersede that. Uh. And I think that's bullshit. Yeah. I think that's bullshit. Yeah. It's just making him look like a big whiny bitch is what it is. What, didn't you have one there? I gotta, I'm going to take you to McDonald's and get you a... Oh. You crying, boy? Maybe we'll go back down to McDonald's and get you a Wham Burger and some French fries. Get yeah. you a Wham Burger and some French fries. <laughs> That's right, Mr. Brady. That's right. And I'll put a little plug in here. Me and Jay are going to have a little half hour, 40 minute football podcast coming up in the next couple of weeks that we'll be doing every week in the regular season of football. But anyway, um, that just, it just, it, it pissed me off. Number one, hey, maybe is, I'll join on Growler Night. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's already uh, another night. Um, I figured, I figured f- he'd never do four games. They, I, I figured the best we could do was what usually happens with suspensions. They nail you for four games. You appeal. You come back. Two games. They, they, they usually cut it in half. Two games done. You know what I mean? So I'm like, okay, that's mm-hmm. what they're going to do. He's going to get away with two games, no. but I'm fine. Okay, that's he good. Get four, and that's I was, it. I was, that's I was, the I was end accepted. of the story. But then I really started hearing all the buzz and everything, and I'm like, you know, I'm just going to be really pissed off if he gets zero or one. Even one would piss me off. You know, anything less than two games is going to irritate the shit out of me. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I, I feel that the NFL. I, I, in a way, I think I'm. I, I kind of feel like they feel that way too. You know what I mean? They had the feeling like we can't go light on him because we're really going to eat shit for it. That's right. Oh, you absolutely. Know? That's they've been in the spotlight. Yeah. You know. Oh, they're going to take it easy on Tom. You know. Tom, terrific. Yeah. Well, terrific. Dick. Dick. You're out of here. Go on. Suck a fart out of our. Well, that was our wow! <laughs> He's here. Who's running hell? <laughs> wow! He's here. Who's running hell? Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. You know, just bullshit. Anyway, that was my. That, that was what you were. Yeah, yeah. you were done. What about? Yeah, I was a little angry. Well, when you pick today. a news story, I got to pick a news story, and I did. That's usually how it goes. I did find um, this one story, and I and I don't know if it's the biggest news going. Uh, but well, I've been watching this Sandra Bland thing because I've been picked up. The um, woman in Texas who got picked up by the popo. Yep. And I've been died in her cell for simple things. Hung herself in her cell. She got pulled over for changing lanes without using a directional. Now, which, which I understand can be dangerous. Isn't, Look, I but, know but this. isn't she like some kind of activist or something anyway, like against yep. the police and yeah. stuff like that? So yeah. so she that's what I think even made it more um, um more made, concerning is that she's not it's not like she's the average person. She has a history of railing against police well, brutality that, and stuff. Maybe and that's everything. why the local police knew her. And knew she was. You no, know she, what I mean? no, she was. This was a. She, from what I heard, was she had just made the move there. This was brand new place for her uh-huh. to get a fresh uh-huh. start. Yeah, that yeah. type of thing. Yeah. So it didn't go good. No, it didn't. And you know, tragically, after a, a traffic stop, she's still in jail because the family didn't have money for bail. Mm-hmm. That's basically what it came to, and it was like five hundred dollars. Yeah. You know what I mean? And. They found her hung, and I don't think necessarily. I think it's asphyxiation was the yeah. was was the, the the how how the autopsy went because she used a plastic bag. So I I don't uh-huh. know. I didn't see pictures. Well, that's a so I don't know if it's she, over the head an, or if she tried to hang herself. Why does an inmate have a plastic bag? That's a boo boo right there. Well, that's somebody, one thing. Well, that's just it. That, somebody and, and the be. family doesn't feel like she would have. 
she was a suicidal type. So yeah, but I saw that the there was an actual video. She was making a video diary, like for a couple of weeks before, and they found the entry or something on her phone or something where she was talking about how she was feeling very depressed and stuff. Well, I so also, that doesn't help the family. I also heard today yeah, yeah. that there was an unusually high amount of marijuana in her blood, so much that it might have to have been consumed during her occupancy. Well, she's got a bag, a plastic bag, and maybe that's where the marijuana was. I don't know, but there's a lot of holes in the story. Yeah, it's sounding like it. Sounding like and it's the a- kind of, like Bob even said to me, is, I, I mentioned it earlier when I was trying to come up with some news, and he's like, that doesn't seem like your thing. And I'm like, well, you know, I've been taken under custody, and when you lose... Into custody. You know what I'm Sorry. saying. Jackass. And when you lose, when you lose your freedom, it's not a good feeling. I so w- what happens after that? I kinda, would know. Kind of, kind of uh, concerns me. So I pay attention to things <laughs> like this. The scary, but also, no, hey, I, no, I don't know what the scary thing is that this is bringing back some memories, or that you're looking for future <laughs> reference. <laughs> That's the scary part. Whatever I can do to keep me out of that situation, I'm going to do. That's why I pay attention to it. You little sissy boy! I mean, that... There's too many unanswered questions. I mean, she could have been stoned and made a bad traffic decision, and that amplified the whole, you know, communication. I saw the video of it, and unfortunately... Unfortunately, it goes back to all these other incidences that we've seen. You know, she gets pulled over and the police and the pedestrian that is being pulled over start escalating with each other. Right. And then it just gets all out of hand. Right. It never seems to, you know, no, you know, the, the. Uh, the um, blah, 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 Houston, blah. we have a problem. No, I didn't even get to mess it up. <laughs> the, you know, the uh, what is the word I'm looking for? Here, I'll liven this up. Oh, my God. Why do you want that beer so bad? Because he's thirsty, dummy. <laughs> it's not the word I was looking for, but it will work. The public a- and the police seem to both want to escalate things on both sides you know because yeah. they probably went too far with her but yet she was in the video that i saw she was obviously you know cursing and yelling at them and stuff like that so it, it's it's a back and forth thing it's like you know it just it just starts escalating back and forth until you've just got a well mess. that's what's going on right now yeah. is, uh somebody you know at some point they're still- trying to figure out how to keep it uh how to make it right because it's it's well i think up. i think we said in, in in some states the, i think the police have a little bit too much power you know what i mean and in others maybe they don't have enough Really, I mean, I, I, I look. I'm, a, I don't think I'm afraid anything. of being overtaken. I don't for think sure. Has, I don't think it has anything to do necessarily with that. I just feel that on both sides, everybody just needs to cool out. People, the yeah, public but, needs yeah, to respect yeah, the police, and the police need to, to fucking yeah, step you, the fuck you, off. Yeah, but you, know you and I, mean? I don't go out and protest and shit. No, you know what I mean. I, and that's how it happens. And guess what? It's good that people protest because there are things, stupid things, that may be only affecting your community. That is a big deal to you. You know what I mean? So you need people to do it. But at the same time, police can't get involved and say, well, this is getting out of hand. we got to shut it down. I'm not a good protest person because I usually, usually, unless it's... you got to look at it a big picture. Usually, I can, usually, in most cases, I can see both sides and understand something from both sides, unless it's something like so ridiculous that it's like, you know, it's, everything doesn't has, even need everything to be, that it doesn't even sides. need to be protested. You know what I mean? Like they're, you know, they're they're protesting uh, somebody who you know raped a, anybody or a child or something outside the state. Well, then there's not, there's not two sides. You know, hook them up. 
cut his nuts off and fry him as far as I'm concerned. But anyway, but usually on these type of things, like you see like, uh, you know, but if they didn't do this and then the other party didn't do that and that and that and that, it would, you know, if somebody just had a little fucking brain and just stepped back. It's war. Well, you know what it just seems like? That's now? what the human being hasn't figured out no, how to prevent. But no, you know what you know what it is. That's that's the question. You know, right there. You know what it is, is? I just told you. It just seems like everybody just wants to react. Nobody wants to think anymore. They it's just react. Something happens, I must react. Hmm. You know what I mean? Instead of something happens, take a second. You know what I mean? You know? I mean, if that's me in that situation, I'm like Take a second and all right, you know, me doing something at this point rash is not going to it's not going to do me. Number one is not going to be anything good for me. They're not going to they're not going to hear or care about what I have to say. So I just shake my head and I have the right to remain silent. So I will I will accept that right. And, you know, I will exercise yeah. that right. Yeah. But shortly after that, usually they're cuffs and that's when you're no longer in. Sure you are. You have the right to remain silent. Well, that works real good for you. Number one is... a mean-ass cop that has got an issue with Even you, the uh, most mean-ass cop... Laying on the ground with your hands cuffed. Even the most mean-ass cop, if you're not saying nothing... That's the way it's supposed to work. That's what all well, of this nonsense is about. Don't, don't, give them the shit to, don't give them the shit to make it things worse. Hey, you know what I mean? I, I followed these rules myself. And you didn't you didn't get beaten? No, I did not. You know? You know? So don't don't give them don't give an amped up fucking sorry, I used that word. I try not to use that word tonight. Well, the, still, the, a, yeah. An amped up an amped up, you know, jerk off with a badge and a gun, the excuse to be stupid and and do something, you know, that's going to get caught on tape and him doing something stupid. You know what I mean? That might it's end tough. up with you dead. It's so, tough for everybody. Because did. guess what? He loses his job. Find the way. You lose you lose breathing. You know what I mean? So when it comes back to it, you know, they're the, the they're usually the party that walks away. So I just don't see anything good about it. You know what I mean? At that point I look at it as, you know what? I'll have my day in court and then I'll then then I'll get my chance to speak. Well, I guess that's why we don't go and protest. Yeah, but some people feel really like they need to have their voice. And, and see, the problem is that I find that most people that find their voice in protest, it's a very it's everybody's a very, got it's usually, different. Everybody's got different. It's a very experiences extreme thing. in life. It's a very extreme thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. You absolutely. know what I mean? Like you know, you have to accept the fact that you might be arrested. I get Even if you're I, listen, violently I get annoyed when I get a cheeseburger and there's not and the cheese isn't melted on it. But I ain't gonna go out in front I don't of wherever. See how that's and, applicable and, in this conversation. <laughs> well, I'm just saying no. those those are the things that you're gonna come back <laughs> around. Me. Yes, those are the things that irritate me. That that's why I don't protest a, because a I'm not the idiot. At the guy I'm not at the, the idiot. window. Pogo stick at the window. What? I don't even know what you would have in the car that you could be. I did watch a video. It was ridiculous. This woman wanted Some chicken McNuggets. Shit, yeah, and it's all on video because it's all it's yeah. all it's all videoed, and she lost her shit. Like we don't serve them at this hour. I want my chicken. Yeah, meals. and People then lose she went shit. berserk to the point where she got something out of the back of the car and smashed the window. They get- I mean. What are you thinking? They're not. That's the problem. That's my point. They're not thinking. Ugh. They've somehow, somehow it's more and more. Two things are happening. Two things have happened. More and more people are losing the ability to think. And on top of it, we now have the technology in the palm of our hand to record all the people who don't think. Yeah. I, so, think, it's, it's, I think that's good, though. It's good? I do. It hey, can be amusing. Yeah. I used to be, You're right. It's I a can-do thing. I used to be in the camp of I want to be the hidden guy. I don't want to be on the radar. I don't want the big man to find me. And I'm done. Because I guess I've always looked at it because I've never, I, I've never really had to be the hidden man. I've just it, been like, you know what? Yeah, but, Come on. And, bring it. Because I ain't got nothing to hide. Bring it. Unless I'm do able what you can. to obtain... 
a piece of property that I don't have to pay tax on. <laughs> well, that's gone. Exactly. That ain't so already I'm shit out of luck. Yeah, you're done. If I could find a piece of property I didn't have to pay taxes on, I could live off of the land. Okay, I'm in. No no gadgets. That's called somebody else's property. <laughs> well, that's that's the whole problem. So I don't have that option. No. So if I'm going to live in society, I need to be connected. And I've accepted yeah. it. And I'm part of it. And that's what I do now. But it before I became who I am right now, before I got into customer service, having a phone or a beeper or any of that shit. Was well, we didn't grow up that way. Yeah, we didn't grow up that way. Ridiculous idea. Like strapping things on that keep me connected to work 24 <laughs> 7 sounded retarded. Yeah. And now it's what I do always. Yeah. It's a regular thing. Well, that's what everybody does. Everybody walks around. <laughs> Give me a piece of land I don't have to pay tax on, and I'm, I, you know, and I'll make it I, happen. I'll get, you won't see me ever again. I still catch people using this phrase. <laughs> They call, I think that's why the they call somebody frontier they, is so close to that I've, possibility. I, I catch people using this phrase all the time, and I think it's funny when they you call somebody and you're like, oh, they're, they're not there, and they're like, oh, they're not home. I'm like, yeah, but see, this is home. So if they're not home, they could probably still get you. Yeah. You know, you can get them. You know what I mean? Well, we haven't. We haven't. Where some people still have that thought of like, if you're calling their cell phone, that they're not home. No, they're home. They're ignoring you, or they don't hear the phone, or whatever. But they, you know, it's not. It's not the old days. Like they're not home right my now. Parent, my parents haven't gone to cell phones. They might be the last two on the planet, but they they haven't gone to cell. Oh, phones. even my wife's mother is 87. No. Has the cell phone. They won't go. I hear my sisters talking. They're will. They're they're ready to pay to have just to put them on their plan so they have a phone. Because uh, you're, you know, you're you're you know well your parents are getting you yeah. know in that area that you get in life where we've had a couple times where the landline was down. Yeah, you and had nobody, it here, and you were yeah, like we calling we, yeah, you, you and your sisters them. were calling each other yeah. like oh who's gonna <laughs> make who's gonna go over there and find out yeah. Exactly. When all cell service should have been fine. Oh, believe me. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> believe me. You know what I mean? I now, know. Now, up at the lake is a whole different ballgame. Well, yeah, that's... Because cell service doesn't help it, which is one of the reasons why my dad got the place. It's away from everything. Yeah. Yeah, but you have the you have the landline up there, so it's not We got away. the landline. We got... You know what I mean? We got cable, internet. I mean, we're not disconnected. When no. I was a kid, there was nothing. When we Not were even there, a phone line? The phone line didn't come until my sister started to work. Like, they were um, in high school uh-huh. working. Oh, okay. And, and they we wanted would go. go. And, they, and, you know, they would come you wanted it back and, and forth. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. They, you wanted they to be wanted, able to. They wanted some, something that they could call. I'm sure your mother did, too. You well, know? you know, that's how it started. Yeah. Said, okay, we'll get a landline, yeah. you know, and then. Then they oh, got married, a, and then the brother in laws, and they got to have NASCAR. We got to have cable, and then I was working customer service. I have to have internet. Now we got the full Monty up there. Yeah, you were working Except on the cell Sunday. service. My, st- my cell st- service still, still, do- still doesn't <laughs> run <here. laughs> Hey, before we finish up the news, I wanted to mention I saw uh, something. We're almost finished up with the podcast. Winery Dogs. The new album's coming out. And this me fall. and you, me and you uh, both, both totally enjoyed it oh yeah so i'm throwing it out right now just to get the word out because i think that's yeah. the way it works hell and yeah i'm looking forward to hearing it oh i love it when i actually have a band of new fuck new music new and music. i'm happy yeah to hear it i'm looking you know forward I mean? to oh it. so looking forward to it so 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 lo- matter of fact this week they're at dog camp yep so they're they're busy uh, guys man. yeah yeah they it's but i can't wait i can't wait now they're a band that I am even going to look a little bit out for uh, maybe even a, a, a road trip to go see if we have to. I'm on the brink. You know what I mean? I'm still on the brink about dog camp. I mean, it sure as shit can't be that's harmful. A lot of, that's, 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 a, that's, a, that's money. That's, that's scratch, yeah. That's money. See, I just feel... I, feel I, got, I still got the Monsters Rock Tour on my bucket list, so I guess 
as a young musician, I would think that would have been so beneficial for me. Think so? Yes, but as a person who's been playing in a musician for 20 some years or more, 25 years or whatever, I feel that I, I feel like I've gone through those lessons through Matt Smith, my guitar teacher, Tony Perino, those guys. I feel like I, I've learned a lot of that stuff from those guys, and I feel like it wouldn't be it would it, it would be like oh, I know that I know that I okay I uh, you know what I mean yeah I, I don't me, think it'd be as beneficial. It would be much more meet and greet. Yeah, not so well known, but yeah. I should know local guys. Yeah. That, no, if they had if they had know, like a like if they had musicians. like they had like during this week you could you could pay a lot lot less sum of money to go up there and experience a day. Yep. I'd be I'd be okay, yeah. Yeah, it's not that. far from us. No, it's no, like no, no. Catskills, right? Yeah, yeah. I'd be like, okay, I that that makes more sense. But yep. being up there for a full week and paying being so close is a couple tempting, grand, it's like <sighs> But the week long experience is quite a bit. Yeah, I think that's a little bit more than we we got in us nowadays. You know yeah. what I mean? Now yeah. but it but, would be worth it. Uh, you had. know what? I like to see it though, because that means it's you know, younger musicians, you know, kids and stuff, and well, the good news and, too and everything is, getting is into I feel it. I feel like it's growing a little. The winery dogs camp, <coughs> not the boot no. camp. Yeah, I, I'm saying uh, fans. I think it, it's starting to stick because it should. Yeah, it's just like they. It's it feels real. Slow it's hard moving. nowadays. It's hard what, now. I gotta say, what a fantastic band these this trio is. It's really. hard. It, it, it's hard nowadays if you're not pop or country to uh, right to um, you know to get in there. It's funny because I was talking with our 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 friend. My uncle says you got a screw loose. Oh, yeah. Steve, your uncle molests collies. <laughs> Steve, I was talking to him. And uh, he was talking to somebody, and they didn't know. He was surprised they didn't know who Zach Wild was. And I said, "Why?" I said, St "I know people don't know who Slash is." I said, "I've talked to people who don't know who Sammy Hagar is." Mm -hmm. And he's like, "No." I'm like, "Yeah, yeah dude, sure. our music is not popular anymore. We grew up in the '70s, '80s, and somewhat in the '90s of it being mainstream, mm -hmm. it being right along with pop music. You know what I mean? Hand in hand." It ain't that no more. It's not that. Yeah. You know? Yep. It's country music and pop music now. Country music is the biggest thing in this country. You know what I mean? The most popular. You'll yep. always have pop you'll always have a form of pop music. Well, always. You also, always, always, always. Well, you've always got a little bit of country. But country's gotten a little bit more rock and roll, which is I dig. And pop. Yeah. Yeah. It's a blend. Well, because they've gone to that's how they got into main they got it into mainstream. Yeah. You know what I mean? And they, the rock was headed down, so you know what I mean? Right. And for a while, their pop music was almost rap. You know what I mean? Rap almost took over pop music for for quite a bit. You know what I mean? From the reviews at SPAC with that, uh, it was Def Leppard, Styx. Yeah, 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 yeah. There was uh, Tesla. Tesla, yep. I don't know if there was one more. I think there was three. Yeah. Um, and would have been a, from, it would have been a decent show to go see. A lot of the a lot of the reviews I've heard right now are about sticks, and mm -hmm. I got to tell you, if I could see a, a good stick, yeah, show, yeah. It sticks would is one of those ones in your awesome. little belt that you're just I, like I, sticks. I totally, yeah, I'm sticks. a big sticks fan. Yeah, you that, like that part of that whole show. I you know what? That's the kind of show I really enjoy, though. I can go to that show other than the price tag to see all of them. Well, I that's get, probably the thing like, that would have stopped, would have I would stopped me, and like, I'm too damn old to do the lawn shit. I'd, uh, no, but I don't mind that because I can, eh. I'll like. I'm done There's with a that shit. Maybe a couple Def Leppard songs that I would pay God attention to. God bless anybody who likes to do the lawn still. Uh, it's, I, got, I haven't. I haven't done the it. The last anymore. lawn one I did was Aerosmith, the Just Push Play uh, one, and me and Jeff just got pushed around, and I was just like, I'm throwing elbows soon. I'm like I'm done. I'm d I'm done. I'm done. Okay. I'm just I'm done with the lawn now. <laughs> you know. Yeah, yeah. You I've kind of gotten used to some a little closer seatings. <laughs> yeah. It's back. Yeah. I just like I, I I'm. I did half and half for Kid Rock because I had friends that were on the lawn. Yeah. Well, the you have, but you have the choice to go back in, which is exactly so you what can I did play both sides. Rock. That's yeah. that's that's fine. Yeah, that's smooth. But sailing. just being stuck out in the lawn and being. You know, just yeah. people shoving you around. So, no, I'm no, yeah. 
you're hitting me. I'm like, uh, my thought is, why are you touching me? You know what I mean? Why, why is this going on? Why are you touching me? Yes, yes. Why are you touching me? All right, you primitive screwheads, listen up. You can find us at Bob and John's Podcast at gmail.com or at Loose and Buttery on the Twitter and Instagram or Periscope. And our Facebook page and our YouTube channel at Bob and John's Super Duper Variety Power Hour. Uh, we're a little early, but I think we're going to call it. It's been a weird week, a little hot, a little muggy out. Kind yeah, of, yeah, 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 totally. Know, that's why if we sound a little bit off, I think we're just, uh, you know. I don't think little we're bit, far little off, bit, but. No, but we're just a little heat cranky, you know what I mean, maybe? A little, a lot of. A lot of moving parts, so well, to speak, your and stuff. AC is giving a hard time too. Yeah, the AC went, <laughs> so everybody's pissed off about that. Yeah. Oh, and you don't have your car with your fancy AC either. No, I'm AC less. So you are AC less. Yeah, that's a huge problem. Yeah, I do. That's one, the only thing. So that's why when it came to the I preparation of this I, podcast this week, I was like, "Yeah, whatever." No, whole whatever. <laughs> yes, Frau. On the whole, I think preparation H feels good. <laughs> Excuse me. I'd like to ask you a few questions. I have nipples, Greg. Could you milk me? <laughs> That's the question. All right, let's get out of here. <laughs> Say goodnight, John. Good night, John. Uh, Stadler? Yeah, uh, what? Is that it? Yes, it's over. How'd you like it? Uh, I don't know. I slept through the whole thing. Well, you didn't miss much. Chico! Wow. If he's here, who's running hell? <laughs> <laughs>